sales configuration. Uh, this is the sales pricing procedure Z E R double zero one, which can be accessed using transaction V e slash zero eight. This is the condition type, various condition types, and this is the account key. So we assign the condition type to our value fields. Here it should be noted that all those condition types should not be assigned to the value fields. Only those condition type which has the account keys ERL, ERS, or one which are actually going and updating the PNLs should be updated in the value field. All those conditions which are updating profit and loss accounts only needs to be updated in the costing based PA to the value fields. Apart from that, there is an important condition which is VPRS. VPRS is basically a cost condition which reads, goes and reads the material master prices. So if the material is a standard price, it will read the standard price as material, standard price material cost. If it is a moving average price material, then it will read the moving average price. SD condition type value field assignment. So here are the SD condition types, and here we have assigned it to the various value fields. So all of these conditions, since they are discounts, they have been assigned to discount value fields. These are uh, gross sales, so that's why we have got assigned it to gross sales. And VPRS, we have assigned it to a field called as delta CVGS. And we have switched on the transfer plus minus indicator so that whenever there are multiple conditions in the sales order or the billing they are all summarized and there are no all the all the conditions are summarized and a single plus minus value is posted to copa and it is that, this is uh, the configuration p code is ke4i so price difference settings all those price difference coming in from the mm module we need to assign it to an OKB9 setting, so all of these GL codes are assigned to the OKB9 and we switch on the profitability segment tick so that the profitability segment is automatically derived based on the available characteristics. We then assign this price difference account to PAFI transfer structure. This can be also be applicable for direct posting from FI. So here these are the price difference account which are captured in this group called as other variances in the cost element group and we assign it to a value field called as other variance. Production variance configuration in new GL. So this is the configuration screen which is available in simple finance in new GL wherein we can have a breakdown of the production variance cost based on variance categories for which we need to create multiple GL accounts and cost elements. So GL and cost element is the same now in simple finance. We create them as, as GL accounts in simple finance system and assign it to a variance category. And then assign this cost element to a PA FI transfer structure. So we assign it to a PA FI transfer structure. So PA FI transfer structure, we have input price variance, input quantity variance, output price variance, other variance. These are basically, in short, our value fields. So here we assign the source, that is the GL account, where the variances are captured, and then the value field. So in this case the price, input price variance is captured in this is this cost element and we are assigning it to this value field, input price variance. Now let us see the posting flow that is sales order billing cycle for a manufactured product. So here is the sales order with the conditions. One is the condition PR00. And we have the condition VPRS for the cost. We see in the account assignment, in the sales order, that the characteristics are automatically populated based on the product customer combinations. So all of the data 
all of the characteristic is automatically copied in the profitability segment. This is the document flow for the sales order. So here is the sales order. Here is the goods issue done. And this is the billing document for which an accounting document is generated. So let us see the goods issue accounting document. So goods issue has been done by a movement type 601 and we have accounting document created and this is the controlling document. In short, this is the account based PA document. So accounting document here finished goods is created with the cost and the COGS is debited. Now due to the new configuration in simple finance, this COGS which was earlier captured only in single GL account is now reversed and then it is broken down into based on the cost component structure. So we have raw material, packaging material, labor, machine, material overhead, production overhead. Based on the cost component structure of the manufactured products, this cost is broken down GL code wise. And here is the account based PA document wherein again we get the breakdown since they are created as a cost elements we are getting this breakdown in the account based PA document. So account based PA document is updated in table COEP and AC DOCA. This is the billing document for which an accounting document is created. So billing, uh, this is an accounting document for the billing wherein the customer is debited and the sales revenue is created. We find that there is a account based PA document which is the controlling document and the profitability analysis document. So this is the account based PA document. We find sales revenue posted in account based PA document account based PA document remember it is updated in table COEP which is the old table and AC DOCA. In the costing based PA we get these details that is the characteristics are captured and of course the value fields are updated now value field we see the gross sales updated we see the raw material and manufacturing cost based on the cost component split from the product costing and also the VPRS condition is captured in this. So there is a duplication here. So what we can do is when we set up the report painter report or when we set up the profitability analysis report we can do we can subtract the delta COGS from the raw material manufacturing and manufacturing cost and then the delta COGS will be zero. Some customers also activate a, a user exit so that internally it updates and posts only the difference. If there is a difference between the RM, PM manufacturing cost and delta COGS so the, the difference is posted in the COGS so it's always reconciled. Normally there is always a difference between these because there are rounding of differences between the standard cost estimated calculated by cost component and material master. We now see a traded product cycle. So here BPRS is the condition for cost and this is the post goods issue document. So here the trading goods consumption is debited 150 and uh, uh, the stock account is created. So here note there is no breakdown of the cost of goods sold because it's a moving average material, it's a traded product, there is no cost, there is no standard cost estimate created for a traded product and hence we find it only a, in a single line. And this is the account based PA document, account based PA document updated in table COEP and AC DOCA and here is the cost based PA document at the time of billing. So cost based PA document 
it's gross sales 200 and delta COGS now the VPRS is we have configured it that it will go and update delta COGS you could also write a user exit to move this delta COGS to RMPM nothing is available in RMPM we see posting flow for settlement of process order And this was the settlement run for process order, so 95,050 the variance and the, there are multiple documents which have been created the first is the accounting document, the controlling document is nothing but the account based PA document and we have four profitability analysis documents so let us analyze each of them now accounting document we find that factory output production order change in inventory that is 95,500 is debited and price difference account is created now this price difference is reversed and posted to the relevant variance GL account which is input quantity and remaining input variance based on the variance category configured in simple finance we are now breaking down the variance into different GL accounts this is the account based PA document which is again broken down based on the variance categories and since they are created as cost element we get an account based PA document it's updated account based PA document is updated in table COEP and AC DOCA and this is the cost base PA document so here other variance is 95,050 is a minus you find another document posted which is was for the reversal in FI so that is the reason it is getting again posted other variance is reverse so 95,050 is a positive here then we see the third document now here the input quantity variance is 91,000 minus and other variance is 4,500 again a minus 